Over years of smoking that green go good, I have seen some strange shit brought to weed circles, but the thing that'll always pop in my head will be the condom that Narnia brought. I know, safe sex. Don't have sex, because you will get pregnant and die. But when it's a circle full of dudes and you aren't going anywhere after we smoke it, it raises some questions. Oh, hell no! Nope, you're not gonna turn my happy starfish into an angry blowfish. What's up and how are you guys today? It's Teddy and today this story time is about when Narnia brought a condom to the weed circle. You kidding me, sir? This might be a short little story time, who knows? But it's three guys and no girls. Narnia wasn't going to go see anyone that day other than us, so why did he bring a condom? That is the one question that is always in the back of my mind when I tell this story. Like, why? Why would you bring it? When I was in high school, me and Narnia would always go next door to Axel's house to his basement and we'd smoke. Hit this joint has some fun. It was a little paradise, you know, a pool table. We had an ounce, some alcohol from Friday to Monday morning. Yeah, it was a blur and I don't fucking regret it. I kind of miss it. I like to party. But anyway, we would roll a blunt to start out the night, right? And that night, it seemed like we all forgot a lighter. I still don't understand how three stoners that all smoke cigarettes can manage to not bring one. But when it came time to spark up, Axel has nothing. He pats his pockets, then slowly looks up and starts smiling. Bro, you got a lighter? Yeah, man, I got this. So I start to pat my pockets and I slowly start to look up too. Now, I'm LOLing at this point. I'm laughing because I don't have a lighter either. So we both turned to Narnia and he was like our messiah. He starts patting his pockets like he was gonna pull out a golden lighter and the winning fucking lottery ticket. He looks up and he's still patting his pockets, but he tells us he doesn't know where he put his. How do you not know where you put your lighter? We haven't started smoking yet. Now, I'm pretty sure any one of you stoners know the moment when you can't find a lighter in your pocket. You decide, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna look around for this lighter. Like, yeah, it fell out of my pocket and I may be sitting on it. So Axel's like, okay guys, empty out your pockets. Maybe you guys are too dumb and didn't feel it. What does mine say? So we What about mine, dude? What does mine say? Well, you're not wrong there, bro. We couldn't find Waldo in the center of a blank page. So we start emptying out our pockets and <laughs> the condom drops in the center of the table in front of us. Oh, come on. Ew! That's a used condom. Oh, oh God! We both look up at Narnia and he starts smiling. He grabs his condom and we're confused. Bro, why did you bring a condom? Narnia starts smiling and he just puts it in his pocket because it's just in case I get laid. Who, who are you going to be fucking because there's only dick and balls here. No girls anywhere. I'm with them now. No girls allowed. You don't do that at Axel's house. No. No. Axel's mom, she would stab a hoe. So our heads instantly snap at him. And I'm like, bruh, you know damn well we're not bringing anyone here. We're just here to fucking smoke. And Axel busts out laughing. Narnia looks around and just shrugs his shoulders. Some might come by, guys. You don't know. No, no, no. We knew. We knew no one was coming by. So for the rest of the night, we sat there and busted jokes on him. <laughs> We did not let him live this shit down for years. Like, we will still bring this shit up if we ever, you know, decide to have another smoke circle. So, guys, the moral of this story time is if you're a male, don't bring a condom to the smoke circle with only dudes. You might just make the other guys think that you want it in the booty. So, if you guys like the story time, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on the strangest weed circle story. And if you're new, be sure to hit that red button button and subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know when another story comes out. Oh, when you look at me like that, I swear that something in the air so vibrant. Now I'm just pointing out the fact.